We are going to be explaining how different drugs interact differently in the body. More specifically, we are going to describe receptors, agonists, and antagonists. A receptor is a specialized location on a cell membrane or inside a cell. They are chemicals in the body that most drugs interact with to produce an effect, much like a lock and key system. In this demonstration, the star represents a cell, and these gaps here are the receptor sites where the drugs would interact. As nurses, it is important to know which receptors are being targeted and their location in the body in order to gauge the response to the drug. An agonist drug has an attraction for a receptor and stimulates it. The drug then binds to the receptor to trigger a response. This ability of the drug to initiate this response is called intrinsic activity. In the example, the purple drug is an agonist. As it binds to our cell, it stimulates an effect, causing the light to turn on. Nurses should know that an agonist acts to mimic the body's natural responses. For example, epinephrine mimics adrenaline, causing stimulation of the peripheral nervous system. An antagonist is a drug that has an attraction for a receptor, but displays little or no response. It prevents a response from occurring. There are two types of antagonists. Competitive antagonists compete with agonists for the receptor site. Non-competitive antagonists bind to receptor sites and block the effects of the agonist. Both types can be prevented with large doses of agonists. Both of these types of antagonists would block the effect of this receptor site and prevent the light from turning on. An antagonist is used, for example, to block or reverse the effects of a narcotic overdose. A selective drug interacts with only one type of receptor, so its effects will be limited. A non-selective drug will interact with several receptor sites and create a variety of responses throughout the body. In this example, we are showing a non-selective drug interacting with many body systems, triggering multiple responses. It is important to note that it is more desirable to take a selective drug because it will have less side effects. A nurse needs to apply drug knowledge in the clinical setting to be able to differentiate therapeutic uses as well as adverse effects of different medications. A nurse must monitor for either the desired or undesired outcomes of the drug.